Picture tossing a message in a bottle, not into the sea, but into the endless expanse of space. Instead of drifting on waves, it sails through the silent, infinite darkness between the stars. That's exactly what humanity did with the Voyager probes. Back in the 1970s, a rare lineup of planets gave us a once-in-a-lifetime chance to fling spacecraft from one giant world to the next, like playing cosmic pinball. We built Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 and sent them on a groundbreaking adventure to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These weren't just machines with cameras, they were our remote senses designed to probe magnetic fields, atmospheres, and mysterious moons, but they also carried something truly unique, the golden record. This gold-plated disc is packed with sounds and images from Earth, greetings in dozens of languages, music and photographs, a time capsule for any curious beings out there. It's our way of saying hello to the universe, a greeting to whoever might find it. In 1977, the Voyagers blasted off from Earth, riding rockets into the unknown. Their first goal, explore the giant planets at the edge of our solar system and beam back discoveries that would change science forever. But their mission didn't end there, they were built to keep going, far beyond the planets. These robotic explorers became our trailblazers, venturing into the uncharted depths of interstellar space. The information they sent back revolutionized what we know about the cosmos. More than just hardware, they represent our endless curiosity and passion for discovery. The Voyager mission stands as a symbol of human creativity and our relentless quest to explore. Our cosmic message in a bottle is still out there, drifting ever deeper into the great unknown. After their planetary tour, the Voyagers didn't stop, they kept going, racing away from the sun at over 35,000 miles per hour. Their new destination, the edge of our solar system, the heliosphere's boundary. Inside this bubble, we are shielded from harsh interstellar radiation. But what lay beyond? Voyager became our scout, venturing into the uncharted emptiness between the stars. For decades, they traveled in silence, becoming the most distant human-made objects ever. A radio signal now takes nearly a day to make the round trip. In 2012, Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, entering interstellar space, a first for humanity. Voyager 2 followed in 2018 at a different location. Now, two silent sentinels send back data from the edge of everything we know. Out there, the sun is just another star and the darkness is profound. Yet, powered by decaying plutonium, the voyagers keep measuring, keep phoning home. They remind us that our reach now extends far beyond our world. Even in the vastness, our curiosity endures. The voyagers are our eyes in the great mysterious galaxy. As the voyagers drifted deeper into interstellar space their signals grew faint, a whisper across the cosmic void. Scientists listened, piecing together the nature of this new environment. Most readings were as expected, a thin soup of charged particles, steady and predictable. But then, Voyager 1's instruments picked up a strange, persistent hum, a vibration in the fabric of space. At first it seemed like a glitch, but the signal was real and consistent. Voyager 2, millions of miles away, detected a similar hum. This ruled out instrument error, something in the interstellar medium itself was singing. The plasma was denser than expected, oscillating in a steady, rhythmic pattern. This was a surprise, models predicted a quieter, more uniform space. The hum suggested the space between stars is more dynamic than we thought. It wasn't a random event, it was a constant background presence. What could cause such a widespread, steady signal? The mystery was on. Our lonely messengers had stumbled upon a cosmic puzzle, the hunt for answers had begun. The discovery of the hum sparked wild speculation. Could it be a rogue planet? Rogue planets are worlds cast out from their solar systems, drifting in darkness. A massive object moving through plasma could create a wake, causing oscillations, a plausible explanation at first. Scientists ran simulations imagining Voyager passing through the trail of a hidden giant, but the hum was too uniform, too widespread. A planet's wake would be localized, not a constant background. The data didn't fit the theory, if not a rogue planet, what else could disturb space on such a scale? The mystery deepened. Scientists ruled out familiar suspects. A rogue planet would leave a localized wake, not a gentle, widespread vibration. The hum Voyager detected was everywhere, not just along a single path. What about a star? Even the dimmest star would emit some light or radiation, but none are found near Voyager's path. The region is mapped, no stars for light years. Whatever's out there is massive and dark. Not a star, not a planet, something else entirely. Its influence is vast, yet it's invisible to all our instruments. Science works by elimination. 
when nothing fits we must consider the unknown. Voyager's data hinted at a new kind of cosmic object. The puzzle wasn't about finding something familiar, it was about discovering something entirely new. Our catalog of cosmic objects was incomplete. The universe had thrown us a curveball. With planets and stars ruled out, scientists turned to more exotic ideas. One theory, the hum is caused by the structure of space itself. Magnetic wrinkles in the interstellar medium, remnants of ancient cosmic events. Voyager might be passing through a region where these magnetic fields are compressed, making plasma resonate. Another idea, a primordial black hole, tiny, ancient and invisible but with enough gravity to stir up plasma over vast distances. Imagine a relic from the birth of the universe drifting silently, its gravity creating vibrations Voyager can detect. These theories are bold but they show how a single strange signal can push science into new territory. The hum forces us to rethink what's possible. It's a mystery that drives us to ask bigger questions. Science thrives on such puzzles. The search for answers expands our understanding of the universe. Sometimes the questions are as important as the answers. Voyager's hum is a call to explore the unknown. The hum points to something massive yet completely dark. Some scientists whisper about dark matter, 85% of the universe's mass, invisible but detectable by its gravity. Could Voyager have stumbled upon a clump of dark matter, its gravity causing the plasma to vibrate? If so, it would be a landmark discovery, a first hint of dark matter's presence outside of indirect observations. Picture a still pond. You can't see the wind, but you see the ripples. The plasma is the pond, the hum is the ripple, and dark matter could be the invisible wind. Voyager is our buoy, bobbing on those ripples telling us something unseen is out there. Of course, skepticism remains. Other explanations may exist. The universe is full of surprises and our understanding is always evolving. But the possibility that Voyager has brushed against one of the cosmos's deepest mysteries is thrilling. Even in the emptiness between stars, secrets wait to be uncovered. The darkness is not empty, it's full of things we're only beginning to see. As of July 2025, the Voyagers are still out there, their power fading, soon to fall silent forever. They'll become ghost ships, drifting for millions of years, carrying humanity's message into the stars. But their legacy is secure. They've changed our view of the solar system and handed us a new cosmic mystery. The hum is more than a curiosity. It's a symbol of our drive to explore. It inspires new missions, new questions, and a new generation of dreamers. Voyager's story is one of hope, a species reaching out, daring to discover. We sent a message of peace, and the universe answered with a mystery. The journey itself is the reward. As long as we keep listening to the cosmos, the future of discovery is bright, the voyage continues.